Hey guys, welcome to another install video. So I finally got some free time to do my wicker build uh, install. So without uh, wasting too much time, let's get to it. Alright, so what do we have here? We have a wicker build. I went with the OEM look. Uh, it comes with rev nuts, the bolts for the rev nuts. Um, I got the rev, uh, rev nut gun. I'm going to use a smaller uh, drill bit for pilot hole and uh, a 3 8 um, for the actual uh, rev nut itself. It's t slightly smaller than what a rev nut is, but it's better obviously to make it a little bit smaller so it's the fit is nice and tight. All right, and a drill. All right, so I'm going to use the masking tape for the uh, for the spoiler. And uh, so let's start uh, measuring and doing the marks. All right, so let's wipe this thing off. And start putting the masking tape on. Now if you look carefully, you'll see a, um, like an edge, a line, basically this marks the center of, uh, of the trunk and obviously the spoiler. So this is where the uh, center hole will be. So let's just measure it and mark it off. Let's line up a wicker bill just to see how high I want this thing to be. I want it to be slightly above that edge. Um, okay, now you see the little edge uh, on the bottom, so that's kind of where I want it to start. So that's, that's where my center will be, right around here. It's just slightly above the stuck location. All right. All right. So that's where my hole will be. So again, let's just double check before we do any drilling. Yep, that's about where I want it to be. All right, so let's go ahead and do the initial pilot hole, and then drill it out. Hey guys, what I also have is a uh, drill stop. This way, um, I don't drill too deep into it and and go into the deck lid or the back of the uh, spoiler. All right. So let's go ahead and make a first hole. All right, here goes nothing. No turning back now. All right, and this is exactly why I use this. Um, drill stop is because it started going in deeper than I wanted it to, so. Cost only a couple dollars, but well worth it. All 
All right, so now let's get a bigger drill bit. Same thing, I have a drill bit stuff. too much. Now right, let me go grab a uh, one of the rib nuts. Okay, so it's still not big enough. So let me drill it, drill it out slightly more. Just a All right. See. Still tight fit. A little bit more. Better be tighter than. You know, All right, this is perfect. All right, let me take out a part of this. All right, nice and smooth hole. Fit. I'm gonna get a rib nut gun and finish this off. All right, so idea here is you put a rib nut on all the way and then you squeeze it. But let me just show you exactly what happens. So there's also a little stopper here that I adjusted it to give me enough movement, but not to over squeeze it. Um, if I need more. Uh, if I need to get it tighter, obviously I'll uh, loosen this up a little bit, but for now uh, That's where I'm gonna keep it and uh, see what happens First hole is in. Let's measure up the rest um, and start drilling out.
right, let's measure it up again before we drill the next one. Another perfect red nut. All right, that's it. That's the last rib nut. All right, let's take the plastic off of the worker bell and get it mounted and tightened.
about 95 degrees today, so it's not uh, the most pleasant uh, day to work on the car, but it's done. Hopefully uh, you guys uh, like that and hopefully it was useful for you. If, uh, if you like what you see, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more install videos. Alright, take care.